Drew Dinkmeyer, how's that, Mike? I think it's back. Yeah. And I know a guy who lost his wallet last night, so I feel like that read is very apropos for Mike Leone, who was, Leo trying, oh, who was he, trying to make it down here. He lost didn't, his Leone wallet? didn't lose his wallet, right? <laughs> this is a great story. Please tell us about Mike Leone, our, our managing editor of DailyRotor.com. Yeah, so Leone was heading down here, making the drive from Buffalo to participate in FSTA, and uh, apparently he had a transaction with his wife where she said his, uh, his pants weren't appropriate for the trip. And so he switched his pants and left the wallet in his pants. And so now he's walletless in it's, New York City. It's so brilliant. You don't think he was up on those two convicts. <laughs> right. right. What's the deal? No. How do you have inappropriate pants? Like, what would make them inappropriate? I, I really want a picture. They must have been like Nantucket Reds. <laughs> he must have right? probably wearing those old parachute pants, you know? Maybe they were like, no, in Leone, there were probably those jeans that are slit the whole way down, you know, yeah. like the old wrestler jeans. Yeah, that go, seems like something Leone would wear. Go to dailyroto.com and check out the forums and uh, put a picture in there of what Mike Leone's pants could possibly look like <laughs> and make sure you chastise him for coming to New York with no money. But, you know, maybe Mike Leone's a little smarter than people give him credit for. Maybe he knew there's a couple uh, wealthy guys around here that will pick up his tab. I'm sure, yeah, his wallet's probably in his front pocket. He's <laughs> oh, guys, I don't have my wallet. I'm just, I'm just a nice boy from Buffalo. <laughs> Tony, I know you're against this. But I'm going to try Dave from New York one more time. Oh, my God. Let's Last see what Last chance, Dave. <laughs> Dave, you there? Can you hear me now? What happened, man? I was saying hello. Yeah, that's what they all say. <laughs> Dave, what's going on, dude? Down, I should have just walked down two blocks to come saw you in person. Come hang out, man. We're in the Crown Plaza kind of lobby in can you the bring, Broadway Ballroom. Can you bring a bacon, egg, and cheese? Nando's, uh, he's starving. I think he's a little hungover uh, Dude, as well. I was expecting. Cause in, a croissant sandwich. Well, yeah, I would love a <laughs> croissant sandwich. <laughs> Uh, I'll stop at Toasties on the way. Dave. Toasties, that's our favorite oh, place. Oh, Toasties, that's like, the, get us a Saturday morning wrap. Sure, this yeah. isn't Leone. <laughs> I don't know. No, Leone doesn't have it. Dave, <laughs> I was about to say your phone number on air. <laughs> Dave, what's happening, man? How can we how you have a panel of experts here? Tony Sincata, Mike Cardano, Drew Dinkmeyer. How can we help you? Um, this is my first year playing fantasy baseball. Kind of got roped in last minute, helped out a friend. Um, went really uh, heavy on offense to start, light on pitching. Uh, so I had a bunch of just kind of flyers that I was rotating. All right. I made some trades. Now I have um, a top three of Scherzer, Bumgarner, and Lester. I'm still rotating in a lot of those uh, lower end starting pitchers. And it seems now because I have the three studs, they're really carrying my pitching. But then there's always this one flyer that gets blasted every week that kind of kills my ERA uh, and whip. Should I continue to start as many as I can to help and win strikeouts and uh, – I went some strikeouts, or should I really kind of cut the fat and just go with the big three, su supplemented with Carlos Martinez and John Lackey, and just go with five pitchers? Do you think, Mario, what do you think? So I think this depends a little bit based on for format type. If you're in like a you know a head-to-head -head category based league, you want to kind of play to your opponent with the starts on a given week. If you're in a roto league um, with unlimited starts, I think you, you generally want to try to have six starters and three relievers or seven starters and two relievers each week and try to just stream those last two spots with really favorable offensive or pitching environments. Because the challenge is as you get into the summer months, the ball just flies. So if you're taking shots on spot starts and guys like Texas or Camden Yards and Baltimore, these these hitters parks, you're more prone to, to deal with those blow ups. So just try to focus on some of the pitching parks that are friendlier around baseball when, when using those spot starts and try to focus on them in the National League as well. How about uh, Jeremy Jeffress? Someone like that. Instead of even worrying about the starters, that's a Tony Sincato way to do it, right? A lot of times when you're in a deeper league, I think when people pick up off the waiver wire, they hurt themselves. So you can get a quality middle reliever that won't hurt you and keep your ERA and whip ratios down. And then you give it a little bit about strikeouts, but not as much as people think. Because if you're picking a marginal pitcher off the waiver wire, he probably strikes out four guys. And if he has one start in that week, you know, you get a middle reliever that comes in twice and get you four strikeouts. Yeah. Did, he, did he mention, did I miss uh, innings limits or maximums or minimums? Did Dave, he... you got any limits or anything like that on your team? Uh, there's no limit in terms of pitching, but I only have three pickups per week, so I can't really stream. So you can pitch as many or as little innings as you want? Uh, there's like a 17 inning limit, which I can cross two pitchers by Tuesday. Yeah. So you could you could throw a couple. They're like guys there's seasonal limits though, there are a thousand innings type of thing. It oh, there's, like, no, there's, no, there's no season limit. It's only weekly limit. It sounds like a weekly head-to-head. -head. Is yeah. it? Is that the type of league? It's, you're a, week, it's a weekly. It's a weekly head-to-head -head five by five. Yeah. So I would play to my opponents. Really, if my opponents have a, a ton of starters, then I would try to find a spot start here or there. And I would. What I always do in those head-to-head -head leagues is I see how my first few starts early in the week go. 
If they go really, really well, I'll add some middle relievers to protect the whip in the ERA late in the week. If they go really poorly, I'll add some starters to try to get back into it because you got to try to win Ks and, and wins if you've got a bloated whip in ERA to right, start Right, at least salvage a couple. Yeah. yeah. All right, Dave, I hope this helps, man. Great, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being there the second time. It's lonely <laughs> when you say the guy's name and he's not there. You know what's really lonely? Paul Goldschmidt is sixty one hundred dollars on FanDuel tonight playing in Colorado. <laughs> Man, I, I I got fourteen pitches that are less than sixty one hundred dollars. Who's pitching? Is it Chris Rusin? Uh, we have the immortal Chase Anderson versus Kyle Kendrick in eleven total in Colorado tonight. Did we hear not? from Parquet yet? We get the weather. Oh uh, yeah, all all good today. Gave me a couple of things to look at. No snow, but all's good. No snow. All right. Did you buy it? Oh, man. Fantasy executive. Thank you so much, man. For the listening audience that knows there's a radio show going on, <laughs> uh, Nando DeFino, Nando DeFino no, no, this is was all, just given a coffee uh, by the fantasy executive, actually a tea with some lemon, and uh, that was exactly what just happened here. There was like a transaction. Nando, for whatever reason, forgot he was on a radio show. I didn't show. forget it was on a radio show. I mean, once in a while, it's nice to be like, hey, man. You appreciated it? Yeah, you, you guys think sure. Corey just wait, yells and talks about Des Wait Bryant, till he finds out he was roofied. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> That'll make for great TV later today. I want to bring us back. Can you imagine if some girl actually went out of their way to roofie you? Like, I don't have that many high standards. Like, I would appreciate it. It would be a compliment for me. Right? Yeah. Congratulations, Sony. You were roofied. <laughs> 